Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating. I've been enjoying Virgo season myself. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of career, money, love, and everything in between. Mondays are different every week. So earlier this week, I posted a love reading. Last week, I posted a four-month predictive. If you haven't seen that, you might enjoy it. And you might also want to hit the bell to be notified when new readings are posted. And if you like tarot and like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Virgo. Messages for Virgo, please. All right, we will start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. You have here the six of pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, my, lots of earth energy here. The Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands, pardon me on this, my gosh. The Star, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Well, I do feel like you have a change coming in here, and they're telling you not to be worried about it. You have Aquarius here with the Star. You have quite a bit of earth, Taurus, Virgo, Cap fire and water. So all the elements in one major arcana. I definitely feel like you have a nice change with money, something financial and career, anything to do with either selling a house or selling something you're going to bring in, you're going to reap more money than you realize. I also feel like too, somebody stumbles across something valuable or they realize something, you realize something that you own is more valuable than you knew it, knew it to be. Now, in terms of love, you have a nice opportunity here for love and joining with a soulmate. Those of you that are in something, you may find that this person is a real, they're like a real source of stability with this star and the two of cups. But I also want to say too, with the queen of wands, there's a lot of passion there. I mean, that's a very, um, in, an, in a love reading, that's a wonderful energy to have. So the six of pentacles, we also have the scales of Libra in here too. Now, I do feel like, again, this is a card where somebody has a little bit more. I do feel like you're going to be getting you're going to be getting money out of something, whether it's a sale of something, if you commission or consign anything, if you're selling something or you're an artist or something like that, you're going to receive more money than you realized. I just keep having that come in. So it's going to be a nice surprise, but I also feel like you're going to be prudent with it with that four of pentacles. And some of you too, especially in Virgo season, it's a great time to start cleaning things out. So you may get that urge to start digging through some places you haven't been to in a while and you're wherever you live and you might find that there are some things there. I also feel like too, somebody's going to find it, uh, money, unexpected money. It might not be tons of it, but I do feel like you may, if you're going through to donate clothes or something, check all the pockets because I do feel like somebody reaches in and finds some money. But with the Six of Pentacles too, in terms of a relationship, this is reciprocity, balance. I feel like you have a nice partnership coming in here, somebody who understands you. And especially too, if you say, look, I'm particular, I'm a Virgo, that's how it is. I feel like they're really going to be okay with that. They're going to understand that. And I feel like <laughs> I hear somebody saying, is there anything I can do that you won't go back and do again? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny because they don't, and they mean it in the most understanding way, whoever that is. Maybe you already have a partner who just knows that. Um, but it's like very heartfelt. Whoever just, I don't know, it just makes me laugh every time I think about it. But either way with this, you've got a nice energy of just harmonizing and working together well, really being compatible. And at work too, if that, if that comment I just made is something about work, I just feel like there's really this energy where people get each other. It's really nice. So with the Four of Pentacles here, you're going to be very disciplined in this energy. So those of you that do get a little bit of unexpected money, you're not going to feel an urge to go out and just frivolously spend it. And you might find, too, that you even um, 
are a little bit more aware of your spending in this energy. So you might find that you don't want to maybe go to every coffee shop and buy coffees that are, you know, $6 and loaded with sugar and fat. You might decide, hey, you know what? It just doesn't even sound good. Or if you've been spending money on things, I, I get vaping. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to like tell people not to or what to do. But I do get somebody like that really cuts back on that sort of thing. And it does feel like a lot more money. And also, I just think that you feel better. I feel like somebody's going to breathe easier. There's something about that. Either smoking or vaping is related to that. But I do feel like, again, with the pentacles, it's related to the physical body. So you may find, especially if this is your sun sign, that you take a, little, a look at your life, your physical body, and you say, hey, you know what? I'm going to make some changes this next year. I've done some things here over the past year that could be better. Let's make it better. That's all this is about. So with the seven of pentacles, like I said, you're going to be reaping money. Money grows on trees in the tarot, but pentacles are also about manifesting. So there's a contemplative energy. So I keep getting that for you, especially too with that three of wands, where there's this contemplative energy where you're looking at things and saying, what changes do I need to make? And with this energy, what you you, put, you know, what you put out there to the universe, you're going to get, you're going to see it come to pass. So again, for some of you, it may be about selling some things that you already have that are, uh, you just don't need them. It's not a desperation. It's not going out and pawning things that you love. It's really about like, I really don't need that anymore and getting a little extra money. Now, some of you too may get a, um, a bit of a bonus if you work overtime or you do something extra for work with that six and seven of pentacles collectively, you'll actually see that show up and you're, you'll be compensated for it. So if you do something extra, it won't be something that's just more, you know, where you go, I'm doing this for nothing. Again, there's, there's something here. Now, with a relationship, like I said, if you're single, you're manifesting somebody. There's no doubt about it with this. So with this, it does show that contemplative energy of waiting a little bit. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to be worth the wait with the Queen of Wands, the Star, and the Two of Cups. And if you've been with the Three of Wands, if you've been um, on the on-again, off-again cycle with somebody, I do feel like they're coming back around with this. This is like the two of wands is where you put in the work. The three of wands, you know what's happening. It's already in progress. This is already underway. There's no stopping it now. And threes are about development. They're about multiplication, growth. So you have an unfoldment happen happening here. Now, it's also, too, though, related to work and money. Again, I feel like things are going to grow. You're going to have a new opportunity presented to you. But like I said, it's going to have compensation with it. It's not just more work for free. And those of you, if you do any kind of freelancing or something on the side, or you're starting up some kind of a side business, I do get somebody being like a professional organizer, but it's like a side thing. You're going to have new opportunities for that. And I do feel like, too, you might re, um, connect in through social media, find a new outlet that's going to sell your business even more. It's going to expand your business more. So even if it's a side hustle, look out because you may have more you may have more people in, in demand of you than you can keep up with, but that's not a bad problem. So when we look at this together, you've got lots of nice cards here, Virgo, but with this in terms of relationship, it's going to be hot, hot, hot with that Queen of Wands, but with the Two of Cups, it's a love. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's a real love, a soulmate connection. And the star is the goddess of truth. And so with the star, it's like your true heart's desires come forward. And so especially to those of you with that attracting that queen of wands energy, it's a, you know, the tarot is genderless, okay? So it's more just the energy. It's somebody who's a real go-getter. But like I said, they really do understand you. They're going to be very loyal to you. Uh, very, very compatible energy. And I do feel like, too, they may have a bit of a sense of humor about them. So if there's times when you're, you know, up to your elbows in work or whatever you're doing, they may be the one that says, hey, leave all that. Let's go do something fun. But with the Queen of Wands, those of you in terms of work and business, this is a card of expansion. So those of you, if you're trying to start something on your own or you're doing something a little entrepreneurial, like you're selling things, you're going to have a lot of interest with this and you're going to have great creativity with this too, where you're going to know exactly where to turn to, to get just the right customers, just the right people to buy your stuff. So with the star card coming in, 
It's definitely a rebirth. It's gaining recognition. It's gaining attention. And it is a very fulfilling energy. It's really when we look at the full deck, the full is your soul. When the full meets the card of the star, it's a time of inspiration, but it's like it's fulfilling everything your soul has wished for. I almost feel like we underplay this a little bit. We kind of go, oh, yeah, it's wish fulfillment or it's hope. But it's more, I mean, it's really on a deep level. Now, this is also associated with um, the numbers seven and eight. So it could be in the next seven or eight weeks. But again, it's a time of having your, your wishes fulfilled. And I also feel like, too, you've got a great peace of mind with this card. And so if you've had something weighing on you a little bit, you're going to engage in some nice self-care. You're going to have some things here, too, that uplift you in the physical body that just make you feel a little bit pampered. Somebody too, you might get a gift card to somewhere like a spa or something like that, where you can just rejuvenate a little bit because this is, it is a card of spirituality. She leans on source energy for balance, but it's also in the mundane level, taking care of yourself. So um, with the nine of swords, we talked about this at the beginning, definitely needless worry in this energy, but nines again are completion, realization. So I feel like with this, it's like the light switch, it switches on here. So the darkness is illuminated with the energy, especially of the star right next to you. So if you've been worried about something, they're just trying to tell you not to. And with the two of cups here, you definitely have a partnership showing up here Two is our partnerships, and this one is an absolute match. It's real love, like we talked about. It's somebody who's compatible with you and understands you. In the work life, too, though, it's also finding compatibility. So let's see here what the angels have to say for you, Virgo. Messages for Virgo, please. What else does Virgo need to know, please? Advice for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Well, you have trust, okay? Trust that the universe feels your vibration and answers you. You are a co-creator with this universe. Helpful people. So again, with this, especially in that six of pentacles, you've got somebody here. There's a reciprocal energy, people that come in and support you. This is success. It reminds me of the chariot quite a bit in the tarot. You have perfect timing, so you are in alignment, and you've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Virgo. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.